In this week's Top Gear, Toyota's Celica GT4 meets Ford's latest Escort Cosworth. Honda's race car that runs on sunshine. And the two sisters from Bradford on the road to the RAC Rally. This is why Ford built the Escort Cosworth, to win rallies. Trouble is, the rules say that before it could compete in the forests, two and a half thousand road-going versions had to be sold. And rally machinery doesn't necessarily work on the road. It really was a wild car and you needed to be some kind of hooligan to enjoy driving it. I loved it. But now they've satisfied the rule mongers, they've made their two and a half thousand. So they can set about turning the fire-spitting, temperamental and mardy original into a civilised and grown-up road car. From the outside, they haven't bothered much. You still get the low front air dam, but the big picnic table on the back is now an option. Underneath, too, it still has the same suspension and four-wheel drive system. It is still one of the fastest cornering cars in the world. No, in order to see what Ford has done, you have to do the unspeakable and lift up the bonnet. Except you don't. You see, there are only two major changes. The first is to the computer, the engine management system, which lives somewhere here behind the dashboard. Now, that's really Bill Gates' territory. We asked him to come over and explain it, in fact. We even offered him £50, but strangely, he said no. The other change is to the turbocharger. Now, the old one was huge, the size of a space hopper. Very good for rallying, but not much good on the road. Well, they've thrown it away and replaced it with a new, smaller one. Makes a big difference, though. You come out of a corner now, and instead of having to wait for the turbo to gird its loins, there's instant punch. This is fantastic. Whoa, you can keep your McLaren, mate. This is the one for me. This is the business. Well, actually, it's a bit of a businessman's express because these days you get uh, an airbag, an electric sunshine roof, air conditioning, leather seats, and a CD player. Doctor, doctor. And so my love affair with the Cosworth goes on and on. And it would take something pretty spectacular to spoil it. Something perhaps like this. It's Toyota's equivalent of the Escort Cosworth, a road-going version of the rallying Celica. And it looks outrageous, like Salvador Dali has been out for a night on the town with Keith Moon. It even manages to make the Escort look like a shrinking violet. But can it really be more fun to drive than Gary over there? In many ways, the two cars are quite similar. Both have two-litre, 16-valve, turbocharged engines. Both have four-wheel drive and both are capable of great speed. On a drag strip, it would be a photo finish with the Ford just slightly ahead. But the Celica's better aerodynamics and its slight power advantage means it has the higher top speed, 153 miles per hour. However, that's just a meaningless figure. What matters is how the car feels. Um, well, I'll tell you, it's uncomfortable. The only way I can fit in here at all is by reclining the seat so far back that I can barely reach the steering wheel. So if you're over six foot two, forget it, buy the Ford. If you're not though, if you're a bit of a shorty, stick around.
It's almost impossible to believe this, but I'm having as much fun in this car as I did in the Escort. If anything, the turn-in, what happens that instant when you first turn the wheel, is even better. The car stays flatter and the feel is more feelsome. Compared to a normal car, the Celica is massively good fun to drive, but in this instance it's up against a Cosworth. And against that, it feels just a little bit stodgy. Yes, it's more civilised, but I just wonder whether the sort of people who want a car like this aren't the sort of people who like to pull the legs off spiders. They perhaps don't want a civilised car. In the past, I've always looked forward to a drive in a Toyota, like I look forward to a trip to the dentist. But driving this is as much fun as coming home from the dentist when he's found nothing wrong. Splitting the Celica from the Cosy is hard, and in the end, it all boils down to one thing. Price. The Toyota is 29,235 of your pounds. The Ford, and this is what clinches it for me, is four and a half thousand pounds less.